We're going to look at heat bending aluminum. Uh, what you need to do it is one of these torches works really well because it can stand up on its own. And, uh, you know, it automatically lights, you know. So it can stand up there and, and do it on its own. Uh, you definitely, turn this guy off again. Definitely need some welding gloves because um, you're dealing with hot material. And uh, I like to use some flat pliers if we're going to use them. Um, so these pliers are kind of cool because they see how they open and close flat. Um, but uh, I may not be able to use these. It's really hard to use with gloves on. So, um, I mean, I can hold it with one hand here with the glove on and then bend it, which I'll do with that just to show you. When you get to the second or third bend, Okay, so you heat it for about 20 to 30 seconds. And uh, you only get one shot. If you have to bend it twice, it'll probably break. So keep that in mind. Just make your bend once and, uh, and then leave it alone. I, I like to turn off the, I like to turn off the uh, torch. Because my hands, it's going to burn my hands, so I'm going to turn it off right here at 20 seconds, 30 seconds. I count to, I count to 20, and you just bend it once. And that's how I'm bending my aluminum. Now look at it this way. Just a little extra tweak in there, and it's already starting to cool a little bit. But it's still too hot to touch. You bend it once. If you try and bend it two or three times, it's over. It'll just break off. It'll weaken the aluminum too much. So let's heat up the next one here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, okay. about 20, 25 seconds or so. It's still quite not, not quite hot enough. It should have been about 30 seconds. So I'm trying to match up down here my bend. <clears throat> this is how I'm doing my curtain rods. Now, if you were going to do this repetitively, um, you'd want to take a steel plate and put pins on it and then just bend it around each pin. So uh, if I end up making more of these, I'll probably um, bend it with a with a uh, a pin board so it'd be a lot faster you just put it around put it down in there and bend the bend it around the pins and and then you're done and then it'll be always like be the same so but this is how you bend aluminum if you got a little project you want to bend aluminum um it bends once keep that in mind and uh you know if it, like if i want to heat that up again and bend it again more than likely it's just going to break it's going to weaken it so much too that it's just going to be really fragile. In fact, um, so let me show you this real steep bend I got to do real quick here. Mark it. I'll just go ahead and mark it real quick. I'll just put a little mark on my metal so I can see. Then I'll just go ahead and Heat up that spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, eighteen. 
20, then 10 more seconds. About 30 seconds with the flame on it. That gives you a nice, straight, even bend. Sorry guys, I had to take it away from the camera. So I'm going to grab my other pliers. A really nice sharp bend in there. Okay, the only way you're going to do that is with heat. If you do it without heating it, um, then you're going to have problems. So, go ahead and make my bend there, match it up to the other one. Vice versa, work my way around, do all the bends I need to make. Piece is done. That's pretty much how you do it. Heat bending aluminum. All right, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.